So the guest book application is done for now, but you can extend it, of course. So some ideas on how to extend it. Uh, one thing you may want to try is pagination. So if you have, say, 100 entries in the guest book, you probably wouldn't want to show them all on one page. So try to think of ways you can make it to where you only show a certain subset of results on uh, a page at a time. And just as a hint, you'll have to look deeper into SQL Alchemy to do this. Uh, another thing you can focus on is security. So you may have noticed that when I was processing the data, I was just taking the data directly from the front end. So whatever the user typed in, and I was putting it directly into the database. This is not something that you will want to do typically. Um, you'd want to sanitize the data somehow and validate it before putting it into the database uh, because you wouldn't want some bad actor to uh, write something that could mess up your data in the database. So. Just keep that in mind whenever you write an application, but with security, there's a lot to cover and it's hard to be thorough. So I didn't want to cover any of that here, but just know that there is a lot that you could do potentially for security. But since this was just a demonstration app, I didn't bother to do anything security wise. Another thing you can do is add an admin page to um, administer the comments in the guest book. So if you feel like deleting one, you can. Um, really that would be the only thing you can do or you can actually edit. So edit or delete the, the comments since the application is pretty simple. Um, there's not much for admin to do, but of course, if someone posted a comment that you didn't like, you could just delete it instead of going to your database and deleting it there. And finally, of course, you can make this prettier. Uh, I just quickly threw this together in bootstrap. So it looks kind of plain, but if you decide to make it prettier, that's something that you can do. So with that, that's the end of this video series on an introduction to Flask. I hope you learned something and you should check out my other videos. Uh, I have a lot on Flask. So if you want to learn more, just check out those. And thank you for watching this video series.